People wake up where they've been have nothing but water come out of them mainly. They can't get to the toilet fast enough. And tumors come out of them. Black rocks, crystals, crazy things. And it's like I find it oddly, oddly coincidental that there's roughly 20 gallons of water in the human body. And if you drink a gallon a day of nothing but either distilled water or urine, 20 days out, the full flush happens. It's like it gets all the little stuff first, how the blood mains for the first five to seven days, and then it goes to town on the serious deposits. Your hands, your, you know, all the stuff that was in his liver. This stuff is thick and old and hard, but you let the body be saturated long enough with just distilled liquids, and it will melt them away, and they will come out of you. That, that's just uh, liquids, no food. The fat, no right. food fat. Now, the beauty of this knowledge also, distilled liquids, is you can eat steak and lobster. It's just going to take a little bit longer. If you want to put the pedal to the metal, the fastest thing you can do is to stop eating altogether and loop your urine and take a bath in it once a day. How do you take a bath in it? I mean, ah, no, not a full bath. Sponge bath. Get about a pint of it. You get about a pint of it. And what we do when we are doing this is we drink all of our waking pits. We save our two nighttime peas for the next day's bath. You know, maybe 11 o'clock. You just let Whatever, you don't feel like drinking for your bed, or you have a pee in the middle of the morning, whatever. Two nighttime peas, save that up daily, or even throw in the middle. Okay, I'm going to save those for baby. And let them age. You get seven glasses if you want to get on the age stuff. And seven days out, you know that that first glass is seven days old. So you start this cycle. And you just take one glass of it to the top and plug the drain. And take a wash one, and you keep basting yourself and let it air dry in. Face yourself again. Let it air dry. One of our most favorite things, we have an old cloth lit bathtub out in the in the backyard. We lay out in the sunshine. We like baste in a turkey. It's wonderful. <laughs> just keep putting on coats and it just keeps going in. And all before you know it, that glass is gone. And where'd it go? Inside. Can you do that instead of drinking it? No, that's in addition to. That is, <laughs> well, so you don't have to drink this. If you know, that's the beauty. You can drink distilled water or all the orange juice you want to. Yeah, okay. One case study was of a girl with nothing about urine. She went on a six-month fast of nothing but orange juice, real orange juice. And she was overweight, had health problems, depression, looked sickly, complete fountain of youth type effects, exactly like she had done urine. It takes a little bit longer, whereas urine will get you there in 30 days. If you do just distilled water, uh, maybe five to 12 weeks of saturation. How much preparation do you need to do before uh, How much preparation do you need? You don't need any. Um, no, it is the cleanser. This is, that's the point. This is the cleanser. You don't need that particular herb over there, because what if the guy in East Africa doesn't have it? You don't need that ice bird from up there, because what if the guy up here doesn't have it? It's preferable for taste, yes. Cooked foods make it stinky. And uh, you can get back to the baby like steak. I have tasted coconut flavored urine. <laughs> you know fresh coconut water has a real slight <laughs> sweetness to it? That is what your urine comes back to when you are completely clean. And even fasting experts will tell you, fast until your tongue becomes pink again. When you start fasting, this garbage starts coming out of you. Your body loves it. Your body's always trying to get rid of it, but we take it in the rate way faster. And it just get beaten down and beaten down just while we're all looking at the sick and home. You start, let that flow reverse, and then it'll take advantage. Basically, from what I've seen, one day of not eating erases a year of eating. Right? Roughly 20 to 30 days on pure urine, no more eating. How about the earthworm? Thank you. 20 to 30 days of drinking urine, people on average lose 20 to 30 days. And I'm not making this up. This you read serving urine therapy case studies over and over and over and over and over and over again. At the end of it, not only did they melt the cancer in two weeks with zero five side effects, besides natural ones, but they lose 20 to 30 years of appearance. 
Now, but obviously, I can't lose 30 years of parents. I'm 40. Mm -hmm. so they say uh, a 40-year-old man fasts for 15 days, he'll lose about 15 years, become 25 years. Okay. The earthworms. Dr. Alexis Carell wrote a book called Man the Unknown. Scientist guy, another Eastern hokey pokey mm -hmm. stuff, really believe in Western science, but he wanted to use it to prove all these ethereal things. He took a group of earthworms and fed them their regular diet. One of these earthworms, he would pull out every once in a while and fast it for a week. He allowed it to clean out. That earthworm outlived 19 generations of its peers. That would have been a 2,000 year old man. There's no reason for us to age besides toxic overload. And you can start to believe that when you see what happens when people saturate themselves with distilled liquid. I used to live in my van and I had like a gallon of container because I didn't want to get up at night and out of the van. So I would always collect the pee until it was full. And what's interesting, after about like a few months, I would vomit all the pee out of the container. Yeah. And I would just throw it away. Yeah. And it was like a gallon of pee a day. Yeah. And I was collecting in the bottle. It was getting heavy and heavy. It's just the settlements from, you know, while the pee was getting cold and settling out. So there's a lot of stuff in there that I don't know. It's like is that material? What is that stuff? No, it's, there are over 2,500 compounds in urine and counting. Science, there, I have 20 urine books. One of them is called Martha Christie's Your Own Perfect Medicine. That one she mainly gets her own account. But then the rest of the book is full of nothing but 50 corporate and university research studies proving that they know all about it. Has anybody ever heard of Premarin? Pregnant mare urine. In North America alone, there's over 500 horse farms with horses standing in stalls right now with tubes permanently sewn into their bladder, stealing their urine. Some people rescue these horses. Anybody ever put murine eye drops in their eyes? Murine means mare urine. They're putting horse piss in their eyes. Why not use your own? Whenever you find expensive hand creams or skin creams, you see uric acid or urea in the ingredients. It's horse pits. Okay, Andrew, did you, in terms of the how-to, did you mention the collecting midstream? I don't know if you're a fan of that, but I, I find that midstream is the best, not the beginning, not the end of midstream. I've seen that in a lot of books, and I uh, personally come away from it feeling that it's uh, people who are hedging their bets, and they're swelling, it's kind of a urine, a waste product, maybe it's not, so they don't take the middle part. Well, I want to compare it to a snake with their spangs on one end and whip tail on the other end. I drink all of it. Uh, urine is seven antis, or probably more, but antibacterial, antiparasite, antiviral, antipoison, anti-cancer, anti-tuberculosis. The reason they come up with a midstream thing is, oh, well, there might be some bacteria on the tip of your apparatus, so you don't want that. Well, <laughs> urine's antibacterial, okay? Don't worry about the bacteria, okay? And the baby is not drinking midstream either. The baby in the womb did not choose a midstream. All wanted to stay. He's breathing it all in the form of lungs. Another survival trick, just so we all get through all walks at sea sometime, <laughs> and you don't know about your urine or you don't want to, your colon is a reverse osmosis filter. It's how you can have shit inside you and not be dying right now. It only lets through what's good for you. So if every life raft had an enema kit on it, there'd be many more survival so if You put seawater up your butt, your body will only take the fresh water out of it. Just hold it up there, and you can drink all the seawater you want. Just a little side bonus. I've been using salt water uh -huh. for my teeth, and that has been remarkable. So you're saying the antithesis of Well, I mean, as far as people trying to drink water at sea, you don't want to be pounding salt water. But I've never heard about the teeth. Uh, my grandmother used to use it. I mean, uh, strengthens the gums and heals the It makes sense because as far as I know, all of the minerals in salt water are organic minerals. 